That is very true. It happens every night. Hello friends and welcome to Motivational Monday. Today I'm going to talk about um, how I plan for meals and meal planning, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to show you one of the versions that I do it. I change it up all the time. And the reason why I change it up all the time is because I, I like change. I like something new. But there's like a few ways that I meal plan and tonight I'm going to show you one of the ways that I meal plan and shop and how I do it. That is very true. It happens every night. Okay, I'm going to show you how um, one of the ways I meal plan. Like I said, it's always different. Okay, I want to talk about the ads. Um, sometimes I'll go and to different sites and price match and find deals online. But sometimes I'll just go to my own paper and do it myself. Um, and so like this is Smith's. And uh, I love it. Smith is like a Kroger affiliate. It's a Kroger brand store. So I'll sit with a marker and I'll like start circling things that are a really good deal, like the Lay's potato chips. Now I normally just on a normal whatever would not buy Lay's potato chips, but we have a few parties coming up, and this is a great deal. So I might as well stock up on a big bag of chips for dollar ninety nine. So um, so. That's one thing is like look ahead to what things are coming up so you can plan. So like this is a good deal, free milk. Um, when you um, buy four of the participating items, you can get milk free. This is really good if you can get a coupon, which there is a coupon on uh, line that you can get for the cereal right now. So you can get some free milk. So that's a really good deal. It ends up coming out to be... Um, with a coupon a dollar sixty seven a box so that's really good um, so I just go through and I start circling things that I'd like us to have um, Smith there wasn't a too much this week this one the Thomas English muffins buy one get one free that's a really good deal they end up being like a dollar something each uh, they're normally like three forty nine, dollars so these, that's a good deal because you could buy one, put one in your freezer, um, and so buy a few to stick them. That's the bagels or the English muffins, so things like that. I'm like, okay, if I don't buy English muffins all the time. It's a rarity because I love them and I'll eat them all, so that's a good deal. Buy some, put some in your freezer, that type of thing, so I'll just go through and just start marking up and circling um, I'll just go in and start circling things like this is a really good deal on diced tomatoes and I'm all I'm all out down in my food room so I'm going to be definitely getting a case or two of these because this is what I use in my meatloaf um, a lot of it is a lot of that is what I use in my meatloaf so I'll be for sure getting some of that um, this is 50 cents a can ah I don't know, I was going to look it up and see how much a can I usually get at Costco. I might get more green beans, we shall see. Um, this tomato soup is a better deal than I got at the Kroger at the Smith's case lot sale, 39 cents um, for one. And we use a lot of this with our um, shepherd's pie. And shepherd's pie is something that I like to have as a freezer meal. And it's one of our go-to meals, so I might not... I might just end up getting another case of soup and plus Derek really loves taking the tomato soup and making it his own like he'll add milk he'll add fresh basil he'll add all these spices oh he makes a canned tomato soup turn out so good okay at the store they have ground beef for two ninety nine two ninety nine a pound and that's really good but I was gonna go and look at the brand because if it's a certain kind I'm not gonna get it because it's really not that lean but I was gonna go check that out. Now I love this when this store does the their five for twenty dollar meat sale. It is such a good bargain. Look at this: a thirty two ounce package of country style ribs. And the other thing that I noticed out of all of these meat selection selections that I liked was also the um, Johnsonville sausage. Um, if they have the hot version, I will be buying some of this. Um, this is a good deal because one we love the ribs. Jonah loves those in the crock pot. 
I use this sausage a lot in my gravy that I make, my Italian spaghetti sauce. Um, so I think when I go to do the five for 20, I'm gonna be doing these two. So let's talk about how I can menu plan from looking at the ad. Also, Smith has boneless chicken breasts for $1.59 a pound. That's like one of their big value packs. I'm just gonna go check it out and look at it and see and um, if it looks good then I will probably end up getting that but we'll see okay so I wrote down a list of things that I want and need so from Smith's I just go in and I uh, I just write it down so the tater chips good deal we have a few parties coming up um, the boneless chicken breast that's a maybe the free milk with the cereal um, it's normally two dollars and then with the coupon it's a dollar sixty seven the English muffins at the other market the 5 for 20, the diced tomatoes, um, and then Macy's, I looked up at their ad, and they're also doing um, the buy, buy eight, save four dollars. So right now I could get Kraft barbecue sauce for 99 cents with the coupon. Um, well, with the, it's, with the deal it's normally $1.49, with the deal it's 99 cents, and then with the coupon it's 44 cents. And then they also have Miracle Whip on sale, for $2.49 which is awesome for Miracle Whip in my area and so um, we're all out of Miracle Whip and then there was another store in town there they're doing small gala and granny smith apples for 88 cents a pound that's amazing avocado 77 cents brownies 93 cents a box Clawson pickles $2.99 that is awesome um, and western family potatoes $1.93 a frozen bag and so I would want the hash browns not the hash browns I would want the tater tots for tater tart casserole so this is what I'm looking at for the next like week or so okay um, on my refrigerator I got this magnet notepad that I keep on so when I notice that we're out of things and things that we need from stores I write it down so this is what I'm noticing that we need from Costco right now and this is what I'm noticing that we need just normally going throughout my day, you know, cooking and things. I'm like, oh, we're, we need this, we need this, and I write it down. And so I could just tear it off when I go to the store. Now that I know what I need and I've seen the sales, I'm going to go off and figure out what meals I can make from this. Um, from what I have on my list and what I have in my home already. So I'm just going to jot down the meals that I could be making right now um, from the sales. Well, with those country style ribs, I can make um, the crock pot ribs. So we can have our Ital a big Italian meal. My mom and dad are coming into town, so we're going to be making a big Italian meal. And I could freeze the rest of the sausage, so I'm really... I'm excited about that meal and I'll be taking you along for that. So the crock pot ribs, I have a link to that recipe, I'll post it for you. The Italian meal, I, I did that video, it's not the best quality of how I make my gravy, but I'll put the link for you. Um, I also noticed that with the, um, um, the avocados that are on sale for 77 cents and um, the diced tomatoes, I can, and with what I already have down in my food storage room, I can make taco soup again. Um, and then um, I also have down in my freezer downstairs, I have more of the turkey that I got from the K-Slot sale. So I can, and I still have another bag of hash browns. So I could do another um, tater tot casserole. And I have stuff. Derek brought a bag of potatoes home from a friend at work. And um, so we could do shepherd's pie. But I'm, I'm going to put an F next to the things that I can make into freezer meals. So that is fantastic. Um, I'll end up freezing the gravy. So that's like another freezer meal in itself, you know. So look at this. So when I make dinner, I could just triple or whatever the batch and then boom. Now, if that ground beef that I saw is a good type of ground beef, um, then I can make it, um, the things that I can make from it or either use that in my taco soup or I could continue to finish out my ground turkey. Or I can make as a freezer meal as well is um, my Salisbury 
steak and I can make my stroganoff for one of the meals and if I do I better add green pepper to that because I'm all out of green pepper um, I need more um, herb de Provence I'm out of that and if that chicken ends up looking good I can make my chicken orzo soup and I think I'm close to being out of orzo, so I'll just write orzo. Another meal I can make with the sausage is the um, Italian Italian peasant. I can't spell tonight. I'm so tired. Peasant. I don't know. Soup. So, so so far I've got a lot of meals. And they're not anything that I had to look up or fancy or anything like that. It's just meals that we normally have that I'm used to making that I could freeze. And so that's nice. Okay, this is my Erin Condren planner. When I am like, you know, filling out my week and stuff, I'll write here what's for dinner. Um, but my biggest thing is, is I don't, I don't know. I don't like ahead of time assigning a day a meal. Some days I do if we have sports or whatever going on, but I really don't assign a certain day a meal. Um, just because sometimes that day I don't feel like cooking that th one thing. Okay, but um, what I do have here is this whiteboard that I grabbed from either Walmart or somewhere. I don't remember. So, but sometimes I'll, I will go in. Um, during the week and I'll start writing like what we're gonna have you know like um, this day we're gonna have corn chowder <laughs> look how tired I am uh, so this could be corn chowder one day you know I just start writing for the week what we're gonna have um, and so on but like this week I'm kind of like in a stall of what I'm going to do just because there's a lot happening. I have family coming into town. This whole week is just going to flip flop consistently. So I'm not going to put anything down for this week and just play it by ear. But I know what meals I can have. I know what, you know, from my list, I know what we could do. But for right now, there's a lot of things happening. I'm just going to leave it blank. But I'll fill it out, but it doesn't mean that I have to stick to that meal. I just know in my kitchen, I keep this up there. I just know the meals that I am having and what to get ready for. This right here that you saw in the beginning is a calendar book that I grabbed from um, the Dollar Tree. So I like this because I want to know what I've cooked the, in the months past. That way I, I know if we haven't had this in a while or we're having way too much of this we need to back off of that one meal so I just go in after we've had the meal and write it in um, so I could look back now I got these little stickers from Walmart um, and I just cut them for my eye to put like green for veggie um, um, let's see I think here I put yellow as a starch and orange as a protein just so I could quickly glance just to see if we've lacking on veggies or I don't know I just thought I would try this system out and just see how I like it I don't know if I like it or not but it's a pop of color right so on the side here I put the freezer meals that I, I had made that month and are in the freezer and then when I go to use it and cook it I just check it off so I know and I like to bake so here in July I was like baking like crazy so I was marking um, I have here some freezer meal goals that I did in July so it's just nice to look back and see what we had you could tell we had a busy week I don't even remember what we had um, and then freezer meals so it's just nice to look back and see what I've done in the previous months and go, you know what, we've had a lot of chicken lately or we've had, you know, we could switch it up. Or if I do not know what to cook, like honestly, there's sometimes I'm just like, I don't know. 
and I get burnt out from cooking or whatnot, I could look back and see and get some meal ideas from the past things we've eaten. Especially if they're new recipes from Pinterest or new cookbooks, I forget about that recipe after we've had it just because it's out of my mind. It's something that I don't make all the time. So it's nice to go back and go, oh yeah, I loved that recipe from Pinterest. Let's have it again. So I'm really liking this um, so I can just see and get some meal ideas of what we ha have like. So that is what I'm, I do. It switches up how I meal plan consistently, but this is one of the things that I'm doing right now. And leave in the comments below how you meal plan. Everyone does it different. You know, do you switch it up very often or are you consistent with how you do it? So leave that in the comments below. I would love to know. And so, all right, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope this helps, but leave me your tips down below. I would love to know. Okay, thanks, guys. We'll see ya. Bye.